guys to my channel the travel holic sailor so today i am back with a new video uh, in my channel so today's video will be all about the steering system on board tokyo kaiki so i am going to show you all the settings and how to test of course alarm and everything about the tokyo kaiki uh, autopilot system this is the autopilot steering system of uh, ship tokyo kaiki so right now we are at uh, panama still waiting uh, for the panama uh, canal transit and as per the agent uh, i think we will be going on 5th today is first i think we will be going on 5th actually there is too much congestion for the canal transit as per our agent information more than 125 ships are waiting here for the uh, canal transit so there is too much waiting time right now let me show you the exit screen so uh, we are here now at anchor near cristobal side and just check out how many ships are here so this area is full of ship now full of ships waiting here for canal transit and also this uh, balboa side full of ships are waiting let me show you just look out just check how many vessels are here so all are waiting here for the Pana, uh, canal transit northbound and southbound so it's around 125 vessels are waiting right now and we are also in a waiting list for the canal transit guys if you like this video do subscribe my channel the travel holic sailor you can check out my channel i have i have uploaded many videos regarding ship also many travel blogs so this channel is kind of uh, marine knowledge and for travel blogs so you can uh, check out other videos also regarding the ship and uh, if you have any question regarding this video you can write in a comment section and i will surely reply and i will resolve all your queries so let's go and check out our autopilot system this is the autopilot system on board we have tokyo kaiki and we have one gyro and one magnetic compass uh, in my last ship there was two gyro uh, in other ship you can find the two gyros also but we have only one gyro here so this is the gyro heading gyro heading this is for the compass and we have gyro here down below we have gyro so i'm going to show you all the settings here so uh, for this uh, steering system this is the system uh, steering system uh, selector system 1 or system 2 this is for the magnetic compass this is the autopilot steering this is for the selection mode auto hand or nfu so if you put in the nfu so we, you have to operate this lever for the direction and uh, this is this is the all the settings for uh, your uh, like of course alarm of course heading alarm course alarm and all other settings are here and uh, let me show you this radar settings like speed control and other so we have this pilot watch here and you will find many knobs here like uh, like this weather adaptive weather you can select here radar pit control rate how much rate you want pilot watch it will give alarm if it uh, now it is selected on 10 degrees so it will give alarm if uh, the course get deviated to 10 degrees this is the radar limit so you can choose now it is 10 degrees so it will give only 10 degrees maximum radar so guys uh, let me show you other settings panel so this is the settings uh, panel for this uh, autopilot system you have this buttons display set external the external is for the uh, magnetic compass this is gyro this is uh, if there is any alarm you can acknowledge from here or uh, this is for like uh, enter button this for set this is dimmer and this is the power button for this system so let me uh, uh, show you this uh, display so ssg this is the heading right now uh, the gyro heading it is showing right now next is when we press this display this thing will come esc this is for the external uh, source so our external source is magnetic compass uh, which is directly connected to the system so this is magnetic heading it showing next is pcs 
pilot control uh, so this is for whatever whatever course you will select in the autopilot like if you if i put it in the autopilot autopilot now it is 302 so here also it will be become 302 so this is for the autopilot now next is hdu so it is it is now selected to 10 degrees so if there is a off heading of 10 degrees it will give alarm so it will actually this uh, hdu work uh, by comparing the magnetic compass and the gyro so if there is a difference of heading of 10 degrees it will give alarm and uh, ocs oca this is of course uh, of course alarm so it is selected in 10 degrees so this one means whatever course you select in the autopilot it will compare to the magnetic compass and if there is a 10 degrees of difference it will give alarm so you can set it also you can increase or decrease it also next is this this is the variation it's showing it is taking uh, GUV so this GUV is the variation and it is uh, taking this value from the uh, from directly from the GPS next is error if there is any error uh, it will show the error code and then you need to check it from the manual what is the error so this is all about this display so we are back again to this uh, gyro heading so guys i have shown you the general settings of this autopilot now i am going to show you how to test the off course alarm in this system so let's go and check out so guys now I am going to show you how to test the off course alarm in this uh, system Tokyo Keiki uh, steering system. So you have to come here in this panel. So right now it is showing SSG. So we have to press this display button first one time. ESE will come. Again press the display button. The PCS control will come. PCS is the pilot control. Whatever course you will select here when the system is in autopilot mode like now it is 287 so it will show 287 so i'll put it back to the hand so in pcs setting you have to come to this you have to press this set so when you put, uh, press the set the ple will start blinking now change it with this direction arrow to hand and then press the enter now it will ask the heading how much heading you want to uh, select so you have to select at least now it is 286 you have to select at least uh, 10 degrees more so i am going to select it i will make it uh, at least a difference of 10 degrees so 3 to 7 and then again press enter now this is the 3 to 4 and hcs now next thing we have to do is we have to put this to the autopilot now after some time this alarm will come See, this is the off course alarm, you have to try out every day and let me first acknowledge this. So this is the off course alarm, normally we have to try out in every watch this off course alarm and everybody on board, uh, all the bridge officers should know how to test the off course alarm like second mate, third mate, uh, chief officer, captain, everybody should know because the waiting inspector can ask anybody. So it is not a uh, only duty of second mate to check this off course alarm. Everybody should know at least. So let me again reset it. So come again press the display. Display. Now it is SCS. Uh, we have uh, we have to change it to PCS. So enter the set. Now it is in the hand. We'll change it to PLE. Now again press enter. So now it is again taking from our. Uh, autopilot see now it is 286 autopilot set now it's showing 286 so guys uh, this is the procedure of how to test this off course alarm in tokyo kaiki system so guys i have shown you all the settings of uh, tokyo kaiki uh, steering system and also i have tried this off course alarm and shown you so if you have any question regarding this system you can uh, uh, write it down in the comment section and I will surely uh, check it out and I will give answer. If you like this video, uh, 
uh, you can uh, subscribe my channel the travel logic sailor check my uh, channel there are many more videos regarding marine as well as travel blogs so this channel is kind of marine knowledge as well as travel blog so you can check out the other videos also so guys uh, do subscribe my channel the travel logic sailor today's video is a little short because it was uh the video purpose was mainly uh, to show you the tokyo uh, kaiki the steering system and uh, this autopilot alarm uh, all the alarms and of course around setting so guys let me show you one more thing how can you uh, change the value of of course alarm like the threshold of of course alarm and of heading alarm so let's go so guys right now in our steering system the off heading alarm and off course alarm is set to 10 degrees so if you want to change the value like if your uh, on board captain want to change the value if he want to increase or decrease you can do it also so let me show you how to do it go to display again display again display this magnetic this hdu this is off heading alarm the off heading alarm how it works it will compare the value of your gyro Uh, whatever gyro heading you are steering and the magnetic so now it is selected on the 10 degrees means if there is a 10 degrees difference in both magnetic and gyro uh, uh, this heading then it will give alarm so how to change it so press the display display this was this was the initial uh, screen display 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 sorry Ah, uh, this HDU. Now press Enter. Sorry, Set. Now it will ask for the value. So you can increase it to whatever you want, like 10 degrees, or you can decrease it also. Maximum you can decrease to five, and you can increase whatever you want. I think maximum is 15 degrees or something. I have to check it in the manual. So now it is 10 degrees selected. Now press the Enter button. So you are off heading alarm. is now set to 10 degrees now if you change the off course alarm if you want to change the off course alarm you can do it also press the display again oca this is the off course alarm and how this off course alarm uh, work whatever course you will select in the autopilot like now it is 283 so it will start comparing this 283 with the magnetic heading this magnetic compass the input is directly coming to the autopilot So if there is a 10 degrees deflection, so it will give alarm. Now it is selected to 10 degrees in our ship. This OCA is for the off course alarm. So, so it uh, it again came back to the main screen. If you don't touch it for maybe 10 seconds, it will automatically jump to the main screen. So let's go to the off course alarm setting. Now, uh, press one time again. Press display again, again, again. So this is OCA. This is the off. course alarm press set now you can change it to whatever value you want now it is selected in for our shape it is selected to 10 degrees you can increase it also or you can decrease it also after setting the value just press the enter let me put it back to the 10 degrees so now it is in the 10 degrees now press enter so this of course alarm is now at 10 degrees So, if there is a deflection between the autopilot heading, whatever you have selected, and the magnetic heading by 10 degrees, it will start giving alarm. Guys, I have shown you the setting of the how to change the setting of off heading and off course alarm also. So, if you like this video, do subscribe my channel. Uh, many more videos I am going to put in my channel regarding the ship and also many travel vlogs whenever I go out or uh, at home. Whenever I am traveling somewhere, uh, I'll upload a video. So do check out my channel, give comments. If you have any question, you can write it down, and I'll surely give answer. So let's go. See you next time with a new video. So bye bye. Take care.